How important is it for you to have a strong personal connection to the material that you're writing? Oh, I think it's really important. You know, I think it's, it's so important. Um, you know, if you're writing something for you, like a play, a stage play, or something that's personal, obviously, absolutely. But even on something that's not particularly about you or something of your life and your concern, you have to find your way into it and you have to find your way, how do you connect to it? You are writing, what makes you the, the, the unique writer of any, any story or any script is your perspective and what you bring to it. If, if you and I were to write the same script, we bring, bring, we might get to the same end goal and the story might not be dissimilar, but the, how we get there would be very different because we'd be bringing our own experiences to it and, and our own views of things and, and other people's views of things that we've seen, you know. Um, so yeah, I think that being able to connect, to find stories that you connect with or find, create connections that you relate to because it becomes very honest that way. And so, the, and so, so whether it's comedy or drama, honesty and real experiences and we, like we talked about earlier, the things that you overhear people saying in the supermarket that you can use because that moved you or made you laugh and you can use that, that's your, you know, those connections are really, really critical. I think to making, to make, to, for good writing and good stories, you know, uh, it's, you don't have to, but I definitely think it, it's a big help. Why did you begin writing? Uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I think I, I started writing, like when I started writing, uh, you know, my, my very first writing that I did was I wrote movie reviews for the high school newspaper. And I think part of it was there was a certain escape factor to it um, back then. I mean, certainly movies were a bit of an escape and writing about them was like, I just, I had a lot of thoughts about them. You know, I love movies and I, I read a lot of film criticism as a kid and, and, and it was really, you know, a big part of my world and, and, uh, and it meant a lot to me. And I was like, well, I, I want to do that. I can write that. And I've read so much and I've seen so many movies. I can take it. It's fun. Let me take a crack at it. And it was fun. And I, and I like being able to share opinions and get conversations going about things and hear people who had different opinions than mine and, and all of that. And it was just, and I, again, I just love craft, writing the words and crafting, you know, crafting the words. And it just sort of evolved, you know, and I've always loved movies and theater and, and, and television and, and stories and books and telling stories and reading stories and all of that. So at a certain point, you know, if you want to be part of that, you either are on one side of it or another. So I started off as a publicist promoting other people's m movies and being able to talk about other people's movies, writing and selling other people's movies. Um, but then at a certain point I realized I wanted to start telling those stories. I wanted to be the one to create those movies and those stories. That sort of, sort of started speaking to me much more than being on the other side of the table, as I call it. Um, so yeah, it just sort of evolved, you know, and, 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 and it also it, it's, it, ultimately it's something that I think I have, you know, more of a talent at than other things. So, you know, you go where you, you have the most talent, the most ability. Do you remember the defining moment when you said, I think I want to move on from the public, uh, excuse yes, me, Yes, I, oh, you do. No, was exa there a exactly, oh, okay. oh. exactly. I was there, I could, like it was yesterday. My boss um, uh, was leaving to go on a trip for three weeks and she said to me, um, you know, uh, they want you to sign a contract. Uh, here and because uh, I was at a place where I think they were going to promote me to like give me a little bit of a promotion or whatever some title promotion and and give me some new duties or something um, and she said so they want you to sign a contract I said well how long is the contract for she said well it's a six-year contract it's two years two years and two years and I, and and she says so while I'm away read it take a look at it and then sign it and when I come back I'll sign it and you know we'll move forward and when she was gone I was like I can't sign that contract and um, I just realized I didn't want to be there. I just, I, I just, I, it just wasn't right for me. You know, it was a time jacket job at the time. And, you know, you always, you know, it was like very political and, and all of that. And not that, you know, screenwriting doesn't have its own politics and all of that. But I don't know, it just, I just felt it was, there was just something, I just wasn't accomplishing what I really wanted, felt I wanted to it at a really young age. I just still wasn't like, I just felt like it wasn't, this wasn't where I needed to be. You know, even though I was doing well with it, it wasn't where I needed to be. And my father was visiting me around that time. My father, he passed away last year, but he, he was a very bottom line, kind of money oriented kind of guy, very meat and potatoes, and not a showbiz guy at all. And, but I always supported what I did, but just didn't have a great sense of it. And he said to me, I said, you know, dad, they want me to sign a contract. What do you think I should do? He goes, well, do you want to stay there? And I said, I don't. And then he said, well, then you should leave. I said, well, I can't leave this job. This is a job that people aspire to. You know, I, I, what, what if, you know, he said, well, what do you want to do? I said, I want to, I actually want to write. I want to write, you know, movies and television. He goes, then that's what you should do. I said, well, you know, but what if it doesn't work out? He says, listen, you don't want to be my age 
and look back and, and say, I should have done it, and then it's too late. He says, if that's what you have to do, you have to do it. And I was like shocked that he said that. And not that I always listened to him necessarily, but it was like, it was coming from an interesting place. And I just thought about it and I said, he's right. I'm just going to, I'm not going to sign that contract. And my boss came back and she said, so did you sign the contract? And I said, no. And she said, oh, so you just didn't get to it yet? I said, no, I'm not, I'm not signing that contract. And she said, you're not signing the contract? And I said, no, I said, I'm leaving. I'm going to write for television. And I did. And then I called my father and I said, dad, I quit my job. And he said, you did what? How could you quit a job like that? Who quits a job <laughs> oh, no. like that? And you know, for years after that, you know, he would say to me, you know, if you stayed there, you probably would have been president of that place. Um, but I was just so glad to be gone. And it was a you know, good experience for certain things. Certainly helped me in many, many ways as a writer and as a marketer of my material. Um, but uh, it was, that was the time I knew I had to, had to move on. And never looked back, I never looked back. So when you got your things together in a box or whatever mm -hmm. and left with, did you feel a weight had been lifted? I felt or? so great. You did know, you? When, yeah. I was, when I was saying goodbye to people, it was really fun. I don't mean to be arrogant about it or anything, because it was just, it was not, a, it was a difficult time, you know, you know work-wise and personally at that time. And I just, I kind of needed to go. Um, and I remember one, one of one, somebody I, I, who I worked with, he, he said to me, you know, what you're doing is, is so brave to leave. And I said, no, it would, have, it, it would be more courageous to stay, you know, meaning that like it was tougher to stay than to go in a certain respect. But yet I knew I was diving. I, I didn't realize what a, you know, what a, 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 a deep pool I, I would be, I was diving into, you know, it go, it becoming a writer. I just, it, like, again, like I said, I just was so optimistic about it. I just felt I wasn't quite aware of the difficulties of it, you know. Um, and so to me, it was just like the, the thing to do, staying there would have been, would have been more, more difficult. Uh, but no, I was, I was happy to go by the time I was, I was done, I was ready. Do you think a lot of people do that in Hollywood? They stay in certain things, but they... Everybody in life stays, mm -hmm. often stays in things that they're just not happy with because sometimes they don't know where to go. You know, I was very, for, I've been very fortunate. You know, I, I, I've always had, I've kind of known what I've wanted to do. I, I've had things that I'm passionate about. You know, my work is my, is my enjoyment. Um, you know, so I, I feel very, very fortunate with that. But a lot of people aren't happy in a job, but they don't really know what else they want to do. And I, and I would never recommend anybody just not be happy in something and just up and leave without knowing where they're going because it could take a very long time to get another job and you're always more valuable while you're employed, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I think there are definitely people who are, you know, living those, you know, just desperate, <laughs> in those desperate situations. But, you know, I encourage people, you know, who, who really aren't happy in what they do to find your passion and to figure out a way to make it a career if you can. Not everything can be. You know, not everything is that monetizable or that, re you know, realistic. Um, but, you know, work is a big part of our lives and it, it really helps if you, if you can enjoy it.